Hey guys, today we get to look at 10 new cards that have recently gone up in price. We will start with a Champion of Kamigawa. A lot of cards have been going up in price. This is a set with many legends. And I have a funny story where my friend Brandon in middle school and high school was collecting an entire legends collection, as including a foil legend collection. And this kind of broke the camel's back because there was just too many of them. The whole set was legends, pretty much. You even had legends at Uncommon. So he just gave up after this. But this card is very good. It is going up in price now. The promo card, the Judge promo, I think it's quite valuable. It may be one of those survival of the fittest that since the card itself is good, the artwork is superior. I mean, both artworks are great, but I think the Judge promo artwork is a tiny bit better. All right, so let's talk about, about Bobble. Bobble for a brief moment was $10. It, first it was five, then 10, then back down to five. I think it's gonna end up as a $2 card. There are two editions of it, fifth edition as well as Ice Age. I believe they are both uncommon, so it's not as common as a common, but it's not a rare. Now the other Bobble is better, uh, mainly because it sees play modern, but it also has a different effect, slightly different effect. Now, I like this card. I think it's actually quite interesting because if you can grab it at bulk for 10 cents, no matter where it goes down to, it's not a 10 cent card again. It's never going to be a 10 cent card. So I'm positive many, many stores have hundreds of copies of these just in the bulk bins. This is the very definition of a bulk card, just like Miso's Bobble used to be until Delve and all those fun mechanics happened. Here's a surprising price. I saw exp I saw this card exploration at the, I remember it being like a $8 card, but now it is 14, probably gonna be 15 very soon. Foil copies are $36.49, which is a very good price on the foil copy. This came from Original Conspiracy, meaning that there are still many unopened boxes of this. It's interesting because Conspiracy as well as Conspiracy 2, power level wise is incredibly strong. Now you might say, oh, well, it's only playable in Legacy. And that would be true. Our legacy are ED8s because they're not modern playable and therefore the power level does have to be very strong. However, I do like the set. I think it's overall a good buy right now. You can get boxes for under what these stores pay for. So these uh, you can get boxes of either conspiracy for under $76.50 with uh, shipping, which actually I have to uh, go on and buy to some now. Uh, next, uh, Nyx Fos, Shrine of Nyx. Uh, this has been some time since we talked about this card. It is trending up. Very, very good land in EDH. Anytime it's, you have a legendary land in EDH, it is worth looking at. I am a little concerned about the supply. Ever since RTR, supply of magic cards have been exceedingly high. And it's not something that is beneficial if you're speculating on it, right? Having high supply. Now, as a EDH card, as a one of, it's great. It is great. I think it is going to belong in pretty much, unless you're playing five color or four colors, more balanced four colors, this will be pretty much in every single deck. It is that good, and I do love it that much. So overall, great card. And next, we're going to talk about Drop of Honey. Probably the most interesting speculation ever. It started as a bulk card, literally bulk, right? Maybe it was like $20, it looks like. No, not even, it looks like it's like 10 or five, but now it is $500. And you might ask, what is going on? And the answer is Arabian Nights. All these old cards, no matter what they are, or how bad it, Spirit Link from uh, Arabian Nights is a $14 card right now. Yes, Spirit Link. 
the one white giving it something lifelink is a $14 card just because it, and that card has been reprinted to oblivion. So people are looking for cards that they had when they were younger and had less allowance than they do today. A lot of people with six figure incomes do play magic. They just don't go to F and M. Uh, they're more kitchen table esque. So next we are going to talk about a standard card that has shot through the moon. I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't predict this one. I know it's very good because I was playing it at Magic Duels and it's one of the strongest cards at Magic Duels. And now yes, it is a limited format, but it is a format where you get to test all your mythics and you get to see which mythics are better. This card is very good with the next card. Uh, combined, you get so much value out of it, and overall, it's a very good card. It has spiked from maybe a dollar, it looks like, a dollar fifty to eleven dollars pretty much overnight. If it does well on the Pro Tour, uh, it will go up even more. This is a card that has a lot of room. Kaladas is an interesting set when you talk about value. Smuggler Copter is no longer there. Uh, used to be Smuggler Copter was a $10, $12 uh, rare, and now there's not anything soaking up the value. Uh, and even the fast lands, the enemy fast lands are not that valuable, as valuable as I once believed they could be. There's just so much of it. And this is the combo, right? This is an interesting combo, and it costs seven. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, you get a token. That Except essentially it's externalized every turn whenever you want it and whenever you have angel of invention or something that has other abilities it's very very good right because it's a copy of that card but it's like a bigger copy of it and it also has haste i love this card in edh it to me seems to have a lot of legs i didn't see too many people talk about it initially until after the spike would have been a fantastic speculation if you had made it uh, and kudos to you if you had done it because I cannot see myself pulling a trigger. Angel of Invention, I could have done it and I should have done it, but I didn't because whatever, right? But this one is not something I would even come close to being like, all right, this is a good card. I'm going to speculate on it, right? It was bulk and now it's not bulk anymore. All right, what cards have been going up and modern pack of negation counter spells. I'm I have a gut feeling that we will see some new deck text. Death Shadow is the best deck right now, and I don't believe it's gonna hit get banned, or Death Shadow will be banned, or its essential part in its deck will be banned. I'm uh, mainly mainly for the fact that banning cards is actually very disruptive, and it feels bad for everyone who made the deck, which right now is like 40% on field. I do believe that there will be a, a true control deck and Pack of Negation as you have more combos out there it is one of the better cards that you don't need to survive until next turn. Uh, you don't need to survive at the beginning of your next upkeep. You just win that turn and this is a free force of will which is amazing, right? It's just amazing. Uh, so I like it and it's going to be played in the combo decks as well as any true blue control deck. All right, let's talk about Shocklands, in particular Watery Grave. Uh, this card has been going up in price. Now, the Shocklands have always remained around $10, not anymore. There has been movement across the board. I wanted just to show you the one that has moved the most because of the deck archetype. I could see I could see the rest of the Shocklands being 15. I could see the more played ones being at 20. That's not a small increase that's a doubling right a doubling almost of some of these shock lands and i could see different color patterns being very good right now death shadow is a tier one deck and that's the deck everyone wants to beat so anything having red is pretty good overall it it's incredible when you think of rtr and you think of boxes at 80 and you think of all the value that is in the, that box uh it's fascinating that the box price is not more all right the last one is kind of a strange one i want to say this came from media promo meaning it was an xbox promo or a 
it was like a stream promo, like Grave Titan promo. This card has jumped quite a bit up all the way up to 20 plus dollars it looks like and at one time they were giving it for no money and that is the best uh, that's what i like that's why those are the perfect cards i like because your store has a lot of them and sometimes your store does not uh, they don't necessarily how should i say they're not going to there's not enough people to get this promo right and because there's not enough, oh, it is the Duel of the Planeswalkers Xbox promo. I was correct. And your store just starts giving them away. Well, this is a $20, this is an $18, $17 promo. It's definitely something that you want. Uh, and if not enough people have the sneaker code to get the Xbox promo, then you're good to go because in my experience, the store will use it as prize support because at, to them, they don't know it's valuable or if they, at the time, it is not valuable, but it's something where you can collect a lot of, right? You can collect a ton of these. And I would have been a great buy at the time. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't buy it. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.